all right hello everybody and welcome we are back once again with some more final fantasy uh we're picking up kind of where i left off uh last night i ended up hitting up a few clubs in game with one of my uh friends from a gaming community that i'm in called rebel uh so we are up pretty late <laughs> so that's the previous video if you want to see that uh that was interesting there's a few points where it probably gets like quiet or whatever because there was some uh, dmca music in there but it was fun uh, it was cool to experience and all that so if you do want to check that out feel free uh, that's probably the video that's right before this one but anyways uh first thing we have to do for today is start the first uh what's it called uh first job class and then once i get that done then we can go back to the new area uh, where Robon is and everything else. So, we'll get started with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my camera back on. There we are. But yeah, uh, it's a good time. It was it was interesting last night. It's uh, pretty cool seeing like how alive this game actually is, even with player created content. Like, it's very impressive. And cool to see. Uh, Alright, so... I'm going to pick up my next quest first. Oh yeah, it probably helps if I change my gear back. Two. I was wearing my party set. <laughs> I had to make a, a whole nother part, a set of gear for partying. All right. I think we get a new ability here soon, which is pretty cool. Uh, all right, so go speak to Dancing Wolf at Camp Blue Frog. Interesting. The whole gang is here. Oh, that's Dancing Wolf. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, wait, no, I did log out. Okay. I was gonna say I didn't log out in an XP saved area, but it looks like I did. I just didn't realize. Cool. We actually pull out Carbuncle because we'll need him at some point. Throw this on, then eat some food so that way I don't forget. How many times can this stack? Okay, it can only go to one hour. Do you have flying here? So we need to defeat two EG?
That was a little close. Somebody jump. Oh, no, it's the book. I keep thinking that someone is jumping around, but it's literally just the the book being thing. All those abilities take it down to half health right away. I love it. There it is. So they know how to summon the, the new versions of the, the enemies, but I don't get to learn it until 90. It's gonna be a while. All right, back to New Gridania. Hand this in. <clears throat> Run over here. All right, we'll hand this in and then we can go to the next quest. I know we we had another one yesterday that I had to do, but I, I didn't do because I was in a uh, queue for doing more, um, doing a dungeon. So that way I can unlock the, sh the shoes that I'm currently wearing. Did I get any any new abilities? Uh, next one I get is at 66. It looks like, which is searing light. Okay, and then after that, the next one I get is at uh, 70. So. Let's go rendezvous with Robon. That's a whole lot of nope. I am not doing that. I was going to say, how long is he going to stay aggroed for? <laughs> I'm not even trying to fight him, man. Okay, this one is the one that, yeah, goes into a, uh, a solo, solo session. Things looked grim for us after Cartano, didn't they? Oh, how they doubted us. Yet here we are, right as rain, with fancy new toys to put through their paces. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once!
Well, 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 if it isn't Garland's little troublemaker. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Xenos' face when I bring him your head. That is, if my secret weapons here don't grind it into mush. Attack! Here we go. Damn you! I'm guessing I should take care of these first. Who do I kill first? <laughs> they all have a lot of health, honestly. I feel like I should be focusing this guy.
almost got him. Let me just finish this guy off. Maybe it'll go faster if we kill one guy. We got two people focusing on him. You'll be weeping blood. Oh, boy. We took the big guy down, but his forces are still here. Oh my god. Which I move out the way of that. As a raging bull! happening. Oh my gosh. That was a long fight right there.
miracles of Magitech design my ass. I passed harder stools than these piles of scrap. You'll pay for this. Mark my words, the next time we meet will be the last. Hi, run and tell you, Viceroy. The day belongs to El Amigo. Yeah, I was just checking something. All right. Uh, let's go with this, sure. No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I was just about to teleport. Here we go. Oh no, <laughs> I almost made it out in time. Oh yeah, I remember that one. I stopped because um, I went to the other one. Or no, that's that's right where I went to the club last night. This quest, so. Where is it? Wait, why is there an arrow pointing that way? Oh, it's a, um, a fate. Yeah, okay. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Okay. Goes up a good amount. Oh, 
Hold on, do I have a enough space? Oh man, it's getting close. Uh, here, let me make up some room. Oh, I need to save that. can't even wear that, right? Yeah, I can't. Okay, that's good. Let's sort this. Uh, never really gonna wear that. Probably not gonna wear this. making some space real quick okay get rid of all the unimportant ones first like some lightning okay i think that's good enough for now cool all right let's see At least we're picking up like two quests at a time. Hard country. pretty easy. <laughs> and then I need to slay something else to get a horn. <laughs> hey, uh, Sarah. 
Sarah Hinks. Thank you for the uh, follow there. How's it going? And welcome. Hard country. Uh, slay a gear abanion hornbill for one of its talons. The best follow sound I've ever heard in a long time. I think uh, I've heard it in a long time. I think it was <laughs> awesome. I have I have a ton of. Uh, it's funny because there's there's a lot of non Final Fantasy sounds, but there's a lot of. Uh, uh, other random ones too so it worked out then i have like i think there's like 10 or 15 variations of follower sounds so <laughs> there's a good amount of uh change i just added uh barrett from final fantasy 7 today when he does the like the victory fanfare sound i added that as a uh another one today but I haven't heard it go off yet, so. How do you like the uh, free company? Oh, are you from the uh, this free company? I mean, I don't mind it. Or are you just asking in general? Used to be, oh, okay, gotcha. I mean, I don't know. I know there's like stuff going on, but I really don't know much about it, to be honest. Um, I'm not like super inter honestly to be to, to be fully honest the reason I originally joined is because the name was shield and I was like oh oh cool like shield used to be an owner for a couple of days oh wow <laughs> are you in a new one now I guess or did you start a new one or something I really don't know what, what was happening and stuff, but, um, but yeah, I just got back into the game, uh, a few days ago, maybe like a week or a week or so now. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Everyone, um, everyone I've, I have interacted with has been pretty cool like this morning i logged in and everyone was like good morning and i was like oh hello 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 so i have never had any issue so <laughs> uh actually instead of running all the way back let me let me fast travel there My thing recently is I've been pretty much just watching everything going on in the uh, the story while I'm running. Running around and all that. Doing my quests and stuff. that and that a life more ordinary yeah I like that we were able to hand in both of those at the same time I uh, do you like the game so far. I haven't played in a few uh, weeks, really. The congestion was a killer. Yeah, the, the congestion was a killer for me, too. Um, I subbed and then I unsub or not unsub, but I, I subbed. I didn't play, but then they added some time for people. And then I was like, all right, you know what? Like, I, I'm there's nothing going on. I'm not playing any other games right now. So I last week i think it was i jumped in and it was pretty good like so far i've been enjoying it i like the changes um i'm playing as a summoner so the changes that they made it for at first when i logged in i was like what happened to all my skills what is going on like all of that but i really like it now 
Um, for Genova, so, I mean, right now, it's perfectly fine. But when I get home on a weekday, I'm usually home by, like, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And usually when I sign in, there's about a... Um, anywhere from, like, 3 to, at the worst, was a 600 Q. Um, and that's at 6 p.m. But if you do it later, like, as the night goes on, it goes up to 1,000 and stuff. Um, but if if you get on at, like, that exact, like, 5, 6 p.m. time frame, it's recently, it's only been, like, 2 to 600. Yeah, way better than 2 to... Trust me, if it was a 2 to 6K, like, something like that, uh-uh. I, you would not find me online. <laughs> In that case, I would be like, nah, I'm gonna wait. So, I'm actually waiting for them to, uh, I, I like my time with Genova, um, and everything, but I'm waiting for them to open up the world transfers again, because, uh, a bunch of friends of mine from another gaming community that I'm in, they've all been playing for about consistently for a while now, um, and they're all on Crystal. So I'm actually waiting for the world transfers to open back up. So that way I can move myself over there and join up with them. But for now, I'm still enjoying my time. And right uh, from from everyone I've talked to for them, they have no uh, like queue time at all. Like even during after hours, it's like 30 or whatever. I don't know if it even goes into the like high hundreds. All my friends left me for a Moogle server. Aw. <laughs> yeah, my, my other friend, he was gonna move to my server too, but then I neither of us realized that they they shut down. Um because he joined Aether, but he couldn't get on to Genova at the time. And this was like probably like six months plus, maybe even like sometime in the middle of last year. And so we just kept playing separately. But now that like we're kind of close to each other, we're trying to get up and like meet up because we're he's right near the beginning of Stormblood and I just started Stormblood. He actually passed me because I stopped playing for a while. And then now, uh, yeah, now we're just waiting for this thing to open up. So. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm really liking this game. It took me, I will say, Final Fantasy XIV took me three tries to fully get into the game. I started it probably two, two or three years ago. Played up until level 30 as a uh, the Thaumaturge one. And then I kind of just lost it. I was like, all right, this is taking forever. Like my interest kind of like was just dying down. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna shelf the game, stop playing it. Then about a year later, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it another try. So that's pretty much what I did. Um, I got into it and then I kind of like did the same thing, put it down. And then I think eventually I just picked it back up again. And it's like, all right, let's 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 keep going. But I'm, I'm glad it's, it's sticking out is has been worth it. I think the hardest part is getting through a Realm Reborn. Finally finished Shadowbringers, nice. Yeah, I'm making my, making my way up there. Once you, I, I feel like for a new player playing all of a Realm Reborn, 
and having a whole lot of dialogue to read personally as somebody that's like i can't sit there and, and just read and read and read i need like audio a lot of the times um once you get past that hurdle and you start getting like all these cool cutscenes and a lot of dialogue in other cutscenes there it is arctic kitten hey thank you for the follow <laughs> wow that's awesome i just added that one today and i was wondering when i would ever hear it and that's that's very rare uh two final fantasy uh alerts to go off because i have a whole lot of other ones that are not final fantasy that's pretty rare but hello how's it going <laughs> how you liking shield and aether sarah asked the same thing <laughs> i mean it's pretty good i haven't had any issues i don't mind it i was telling uh this is my one of my friends who left me for moogle okay gotcha switch to chaos but uh want to switch back after congestion is over is K chaos on aether or I really don't know any of like all the servers. Oh, chaos is oh, okay. Chaos is the other data center. An EU data center. Okay. Ugh. Interesting. Are the queue times like non existent then, I guess? Search for wah uh, something. Oh god. Uh well if we don't get into a fight, we can survive, right? Alright, let's find out. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. The queue times are terrible sometimes. Oof. Yeah, isn't there there's less data centers so does, that technically means that there's going to be more congestion i guess soiled sack search for those trail I also want to switch so I can come back to uh, friends and actually be on the proper time zone. Yeah, I'm sure that's a big thing. <laughs> I don't really like uh, MSQ for Final Fantasy 14. I really like ESO main story. They talk. Yes, ESO's story is pretty good. Um, my so my favorite MMO though, uh, is star wars the old republic because i absolutely love the rpg the dialogue options the fully voice acted all the way through the expansion like star wars the old republic is my number one uh mmo ever personally and it really is just for the story all that gameplay can be a little like tedious at times but the story so good for every class and I cannot wait because they're getting a big update. Um, they were supposed to get in December, 
but now they're getting a huge update in uh february that changes it so you select a storyline of like uh your character story but then you choose a game class game or game play class um in the past you couldn't do that so i'm uh swotor is my personal Worse. favorite Skulls. but i like eso Listen, too please. i Whatever like this happens, stay hidden and do not intervene understood what you there halt you know you shouldn't be here the one thing Explain that happens a lot yourself. in this game is there's like some hit or miss moments like there's some times where like there's an arc where it's so good me, and it's I amazing and i love it and sometimes i'm like okay oh, I, I, like I feel like story. this is kind of just busy Only work but dare to come so late. Oh, and it, it comes and goes a resistant spy no no you've got it all wrong i, I was waylaid by bandits I, it's not my fault i said halt damn This is a joke. You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fake. How stupid do you think we are? Heaven's story was pretty good. It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Who is the rock? Who is the rock? Oh, you know who the rock you came is. Late, you you the rock. lied the about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the empire of its due. <laughs> hey, Cody, I thank you for the follow there as well. <clears throat> think you can kill them all including the ones watching from hello, the tower. hello and welcome even if you did others would come for him and his family there's a, uh, a notification that wasn't final labor, fantasy assuming they didn't just <laughs> execute them that is but it isn't fair whoa it's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this God's forsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and coiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, God's damn it. And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. Enough! Lord Xenos is expecting our report. <laughs> well, welcome. Oh, Kodak OP. <laughs> now I see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said Cody before. Also, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for, for coming by. Like a whole swarm of you. <laughs> Thank you, though. Appreciate it. We should do the same. Oh, it was Kodia. Okay. Nice. So then does it mean that it's Cody a cop? <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, hey. We do have a new book. I like the new, uh, the sound effect in this one, uh, for Picking up and completing quests. <laughs> it's different, for sure. They have fast travel over there. <clears throat> yeah, Heaven Sword was pretty good. Um, I did get pretty far into Heaven Sword, and then I took a break. And I literally, when I started again recently, um, 
I had like four hours left of Heaven Sword. So I, I finished that. Then. <laughs> hey, Nebula Raven. Thank you for the follow as well. Hello and welcome. We're, we're hitting a, a streak right now. Oh my God. <laughs> so this number up here, this over on the left side, that's recent uh, Twitch follower. On the right side is re recent YouTube subscriber. Uh, and then this number goes up for every interaction on anything. And just to let you guys know, so I, I am not a Twitch affiliate, so therefore I stream on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Um, and I'm live on all four, or well, all three of those right now. So. There's that too. But welcome. <laughs> Regardless, thank you guys for hanging out here. Uh, all right, so now we're going up here. Sprint. What, uh, I was actually streaming earlier this morning. Nice. How were you streaming some, uh, Final Fantasy 14? How's that going? If you were, or well, how was your stream? Oh, <laughs> stream of Apex. It was terrible. Ah. <laughs> I haven't played Apex in a very long time. I, I was excited when, um, I remember when Apex got announced. I was very excited for that game, but I'm never really much of a person that can stick to one game, uh, let alone like a battle royale or anything like that. So I'm a big FPS, uh, well, big RPG, MMO and FPS player. So I go all over the place. Playing it since beta. Every once in a while, I, I still like redeem the rewards that you get and stuff. Meanwhile, in the Royal Palace of Alamigo. See, this is what I really like. As the uh, expansions like progress, these cutscenes just get better and better and better. <laughs> MG, hey, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Do all of you guys stream? I think once my thing hits six or seven, the color, the follow uh, right here changes because there's like a streak going on. Yes, we do. Not often for myself. Gotcha. I would do my best to stop by sometime for some of you. Are you guys uh, VTubers for the most part? Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orient and taken up positions along the length of the wall. 
Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges. Save one. A unit I only post when I stream. with field testing prototype Magitech weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed with the unit sustaining near total casualties. Near total? Go on. Near total? My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Aorsian Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. Hmm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the twelfth is no place for cowards who count their Capped lives more screen. precious than the cause. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. That's some big ar armor. Get to fill you, but uh, getting the followers and viewers is a pain. Yeah, now I get that. I used to be a Twitch affiliate. Um, My lord. Uh, I uh, asked uh, VTuber. Oh boy. Cowards who defer critical missions to their subordinates, who hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. I was a Twitch affiliate for about four years. <clears throat> well, no, actually, I'd probably like be like three, but I only like regularly stream Why? for about two and a half. When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? There's a... Uh, because my honored nice. father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. It is a delicate dance, one which asks much of my hounds. And so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsmen. How should we deal with these savages? Everyone's silent. <laughs> They're like, uh... My lord, I have a proposal. Silence, Alamegan! You do forget yourself! Only by the grace of Lord Van Balesar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. This savage yearns to hunt her own. The floor is yours, Commander. Thank you, my lord. Oh boy. Verdola, okay. Oh, 
Uh, sure, I'll take this one, I guess. Paladin Ward. Ah. Actually, I'll just take that. All right. Uh, future. Oh, wait, is it right here? Oh, it's right there. I love how they put the, uh, the quest at the top left at all times. Very nice. Easy to quick and easy to find. I need to get a, uh, a new drink here soon. <clears throat> I'll grab this one. Uh, try to do this, I guess. Into rating? Um, here and there. I mean, I. I uh, like it in game, right? I uh, what was I trying to say? Uh, honestly, just for a few days. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm into rating it. The only thing is I'm really uh, working on the main story just until I get to that. But then once I do hit like max level, then yeah, hopefully I'll be doing some raids here and there. That kind of stuff. Um, I went with shield for really well. So when I played last year or so, um, I joined because I was looking for a free company and then I took a break for a while and finally came back and I was still on the discord so i was like hey, hey can i get an invite and that was pretty much it goot is the owner he's chill yeah i saw there was like some stuff going on for a bit but for the most part to be honest i'm pretty quiet <laughs> when it comes to the only thing i'm not really quiet on is uh on stream when there's other people chatting a lot of stuff yeah i knew i kind of got the feeling that there was a lot of stuff going on so i was like i'm just gonna get my experience and all that and i have questions I uh, still need to do my ultimates and finish Endwalker so I can get the savages done, etc. Picking up so many of these right now. Da -da -da. Oh, I didn't realize she has snake, snake legs. Asked and fixed most of it. Yeah, it happens and uh i've been in just from my time in many mmos <laughs> i've seen quite a bit so i totally understand it's all part of it though right Loud mouth in game and I'm talkative, but once it comes to streaming, I'm way too shy to talk. See, that's, I don't know. I don't know how I, dude, I'm like the IRL, I'm like the quietest person ever. But when it comes to streaming, it's like a whole other thing for me, at least. Reason why I don't play MMOs. I love MMOs so much. They're, the story games and MMOs are, I love them. 
Um, I was actually going to start uh, a playthrough today, but I I'm probably going to wait. I might do it on Tuesday. Uh, the Secret World Legends is a game that I I've been wanting to try out for so, so long now. Um, and I can't see the, the player count is so low for it, but, uh, but it's one of those games that I've heard so many good things about for the story. So I, I just have to do it at some point and I'm afraid that the game's gonna like someday they're just gonna announce it and be like yeah we're shutting down the servers on by the end of this month something like that so but I need to play it at least once before that inevitably happens hopefully I can actually boost the talk everyone I'm gonna try to uh, this month to see how I am Hey, doing good. Just kind of enjoy the game. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Look around. I mean, at the end of the day, see, that's the one thing when it comes to streaming I've always been is I play the games that I want. And that's basically it. <laughs> it's easier to stick to one game and only play that game, but I play whatever I'm feeling with feeling about and then on the YouTube side I turn those into let's plays full like uncut let's plays and walkthroughs of, of games so that way even if even if the live stream part doesn't do well the uh, the video on demand on YouTube still has a chance and it's surprising sometimes it's very surprising sometimes like a game that i i streamed uh sniper ghost warrior contracts which is just for some reason i felt like doing the stealth sniper game uh a few months back and the stream probably it was pretty dead for the most part like there wasn't a whole lot of people because not everybody's searching for that game but then all of a sudden youtube when i actually put it uh put the let's play onto youtube for some reason it, it ended up getting like a good uh like i think right now part one has like 200 to 400 views which is rare for for some of my videos but but it happens you know probably be fine as if someone was talking to me or in the chat is actually engaging because if not, i'll be awkwardly quiet yeah no i definitely i i still get those moments where like or days where i jump on and i'm like i don't know what to say i don't know what to do it's like quiet in here i shouldn't just be doing i don't know not saying anything but it happens you know i don't like being that type of person where like I come on and you're like hey guys what's going all right smash that follow button make sure that you're you're you got those notifications on all right let's go see what's up oh my god look at that that's a building over there like no 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 th that is way too much hell no no thanks uh-uh I'm not gonna put that that on all right I mean, it works for some people and it does work for a lot of people, but yeah, your basic YouTuber, like hype beast type of person. I, I, that's, I, I like it because I feel like it helps too, because the moments where I do get excited or like, I'm, it, it's genuine. It's not like, oh, I'm trying to produce this crazy fantastic content that like is so high energy like yes it's it's good to be high energy and everything but like that's not realistic you know some people don't want that too i'm not a big person on that i mean i like it sometimes but i also like laid back hearing stories like um some funny moments here and there so depends 
actually did a breath of a while gameplay and talked through it also final fantasy 10 gameplay talking and now i'm just like e <laughs> I just recently, I think all my, I played through, uh, so one reason why I came back to Final Fantasy 14 was because uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake came out on PC. So I played that and uh, I loved it. So, cause I never played it on, on PlayStation or anything. Uh, and I was waiting for it to come to PC for so long. If it, if it ever did, so. I played that and then after playing that I was like you know what I kind of want some more Final Fantasy so with that I ended up uh, I was like you know what I'm gonna go back to Final Fantasy 14 and here I am yeah so like right now like I kind of feel like we're doing a whole lot of like fetch quests and things like that like we're going around talking to people so this can this is where it kind of gets a little slow it slows down the pace um but it's not like horrible or anything i i'm assuming we might be hitting up this dungeon soon so that's going to be a good point for me to grab a drink if we have to put ourselves in queue I forgot to here let me actually change this last night I went to my first <laughs> uh, let's see last night I went to my first uh, club in Final Fantasy and I was up very late uh, one of my friends on the crystal server we met up while well, he came on to Aether cause, with an alt and then found the two clubs that we went to it was very interesting <laughs> clubs are hella fun thing I do is pictures on Final Fantasy probably the best thing that they have yeah, every every time I talk to somebody who's been playing this game for a while, they're always like the the true end game is fashion and also doing a lot of pictures. Like cuz once you get to that point, it's just like you're living in the game. Club hopping is hella fun. Yeah, it was a good time. It was pretty cool. I've, I've never really like I know like there's games out there and stuff uh, where you like you can do that but I never did it like myself really so uh, experiencing it was pretty cool Instagram's full of them nice yeah I, I oh that's one um, I love seeing like that kind of stuff on Twitter like I follow like Final Fantasy 14 um, like topics or whatever on Twitter and they're like everywhere. One of the reasons I originally came to um, Genova is because I saw, I think it was last year, like not, not this one that just happened, but last year's new year. Um, I saw like a bunch of people on Genova uh, having like New Year's parties and all of that, and I I thought it was it looked so cool, and I was like I want to be a part of that. I want to do cool things. So then I did. <laughs> so I joined.
Astrum Orange. Is there going to be a, a moment where we... Let's chat with uh, this guy. Ah, shoot. That might have been a good cutscene. Uh, oops. I'm getting in the habit of skipping too much. Oh wow, we leveled up. I wasn't expecting to level up that fast. 64, nice. I do it all the time. Where are we? Okay. Um, I'm going to grab a drink real quick. So I will be right back. Delta the Ripper. All right. Let's go ahead and continue here. So... Uh, we need to go meet up with, uh, Pippin. Oh, I, so Summoner, I really like, like really like, especially now, um, from after the 6.0 changes, it feels great. Um, I went from, like, I thought the summoner gameplay was, like, kind of cool and everything. Like, it was pretty much before 6.0. It was all, um, what, but it, making sure all your damage over time abilities and all of that was up. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just making sure that they're popped. You do a little, a little bit of DPS here and there. Um, I did not like that. But I was kind of like, okay, cool, like, whatever. Um, but now, when I remember when I logged into this, I was like, what happened to all my abilities? What is going on? Where's this? Where's that? I was so confused for like the first hour. Then I finally found out, found out that uh, uh, they basically revamped the entire class from like the ground up. So then I started looking into that. And now that I, I kind of understand, I really like it. Um, it's pretty cool. Like now you're actually summoning different summons uh, instead of just having like a tank, a, a DPS or a healer summon out or well, I don't think there really is any healer summons. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really cool. I, I love the astral abilities that you get. I cannot wait until I hit max level and I have the big boy summons, like the level two Excellent. versions. The disposition of the Imperial forces so. is exactly as expected. I will notify father. <laughs> Cannon fire. Where did it come from? Smoke! There! Is that... Oh, gods, it's Ralga's reach. It's no use. I think someone's jamming our communications. You don't think... Could this be part of a coordinated attack? Too early to draw conclusions. We must abort the assault and return to the Reach at once.
Oh boy. You. I tried and I panicked and party wiped four times. That's my biggest fear of healing. of mine. Okay. He has a sword and she's got her fist. <laughs> oh shit. Big boy. Well, well. Stand aside, Pilus. This one has promise. Have a care, my lord. She's not like the others. She's not girl, like the other girls. Or I will kill you. <laughs> Seven hells. It's him. It's Xenos. The Viceroy. Oh, you are a dead man. So spirited and yet so empty. Stola coming in with the save. Alas. We will not save you. Oh shit. Oh no. Uh oh. Hold the line, Byroga! Hold the line! Dude, they're getting slaughtered right now. What the hell? Run! Yes, retreat. Retreat. Run back. Cryo! Alphano! We saw the smoke and thought we heard explosions. Are we under attack? The Imperials were all over us before we realized what was happening. No one knew where to run or what to do. It was chaos. Lisa and Master Kemp rallied the guards and bought us enough time to get some of the wounded to safety, but I haven't seen either of them since. Confound it. If we lose the reach, this will all have been for naught. Cannot. Shall not. Our we will not. Can you escort these people to the wall? Aye, sir. Our place is at the reach. We must offer such aid and succor as we are able. Saving lives is now our paramount concern. If we can hold back the Imperials until Father sends reinforcements, 
We may yet turn the tide. I'll join you. I've done all I can for these people, and you'll be crying out for a healer in there. I fear you're right. Come, there is no time to lose. Run! I still love the game telling you when there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. Very nice for that. Very nice indeed. Be back in a few if you're still streaming. All right, sounds good. Hey, Sarah, thank you for stopping by and uh, bringing some friends. <laughs> so I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one as well. Not too sure how long I'm going to be on today just yet. It could be for a while. It might be for like another two hours. I don't know yet. Go, go, go. For we the must glory hurry. Of the flames. I'm going, I'm going. Are those enemies? Yeah, they are. Rebel scum! <laughs> Rebel scum. What was that look? Nice. What took you so long? Alpha, no, I need your help. My lord. 
report the prisoners. See to your men, Pilus. Uh, as you command, my lord. Your friends were a disappointment. But you... You will entertain me, will you not? That sounds... Big baddie, okay. That one. Be gone. Oh God. Holy. Give me something to remember. I don't even know what to do here. I'm barely doing anything. <laughs> We just had to survive. We broke his sword. <laughs> the audio going back and forth. There's no way you can defeat him now. Not in here, not now. Another time. Shall we give chase, General? Nay, there has been enough death this day. 
See to the wounded. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. You all right, lad? Next time he'll pay. Aye, I do not doubt it. They're still trying to heal them. Don't you die on me, Ashola! Hold on! Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Alphano, Master Kemp is all yours. Understood. Just stand there gawping. Hold her down while I work. Sorry, I I just got knocked down by the by the big boss. What? The worst is past, but without the proper facilities, I can do no more. Master Kemp too would be better served in the infirmary. Let us take them there without delay. Give us a hand, would you, Lise? Uh, oh, of course. I know you must be exhausted, but there will be others who need our help. Leave these two to us and look to the other wounded. Fred lies motionless, having breath to breathe, breathed his last. Clenched in his fist is a small charm which you take for safekeeping. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. It will be remembered. It will not be forgotten. No, it won't. Conrad. Hello, my friend. Conrad. Play. Dun 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 dun
My doggo is passed out on the couch right now. We don't even have to go that far, but I did it anyways. Were it not for the swift actions of the Scions and the Alliance, many more would have died. You risked your lives to save ours, and for that we thank you. There is no need for thanks. We are allies, are we not? Aye, just so. Let us not dwell on this tragedy, but look to the future. The future? I'm sorry, General, but there is no future for us. We've lost too many. Gods, I can still see Mefrid with that woman standing over him. <laughs> They've ripped the heart out of us, General. They've broken us. Our fight is over. Master Kemp, please. I'll always hate them with every fiber of my being. For what they took from us then and now. Our homeland, our freedom, our bloody children. You mean the Skulls? The youths who fight for Xenos? Grania Lupi, the Black Wolf's legacy and our shame. A unit made up of children born to Alamegan dignitaries who came of age during the occupation. Sons and daughters of Gia Abania, raised to be proud citizens of the Empire, with all the rights and responsibilities that entails. It'd be easy to curse them and call them traitors, but they're our children, our flesh and blood. If the only way to forge the future we want is to cut down our own, then... Then what was it all for? Nago, what will you say to the families of the fallen? To the mothers and the widows and the orphans? Will you tell them it was all for nothing? Listen to the girl. We dare not suffer our comrades' sacrifices to have been in vain. Now is the time to steal our resolve and press on, painful though it may be. And when Xenos comes back with his army, what then? This isn't the first time, you know. You'll be hard-pressed to find men brave or stupid enough to face him again. I still can't believe how strong he was. He humiliated us back there. The Warrior of Light included. God help us if he's next in line to the Garlean throne. Loath though I am to say it, we should not be surprised. Before succeeding Van Balesar in Alamigo, Xenos led the Imperial Army to Doma, where he crushed the rebellion utterly. As a matter of fact, Doma remains in his charge to this day. Suffice it to say, Varus's heir is a peerless warrior and an accomplished general. The question is, how are we to contend with such a foe? To fight and we keep on fighting until we win and we take the fight to Domo. I have a feeling you're about to tell us. Say we need to fight until we win. Come now, even you have your limits. But then, <laughs> so too must he. 
One legatus ruling two provinces a world apart, yes, divide and conquer. We kindle the flames of revolution in Doma once more, thereby forcing Xenos to fight a war on two fronts. For that, there would need to be someone left to fight on this front by the time you got back. Look, I'll not deny the plan as promise. And I feel for our brothers and sisters in Doma, truly I do. But I fear we lack the strength to see it through. Have faith in your people, Master Kemp. Them and the Scions. Hold fast, rebuild. And when all is in place, we shall defeat Xenos together. If you're going to Doma, I'm coming too. I want to help our friends there. And make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Give us the time we need, and we will give you something far greater. Very well. For all you have done for us, we will fight on. But be swift, comrades. Al amigo has suffered enough. Sounds good. All right, um, hold on one second here, chat. Okay. What quest are we on? Divide and Conquer? Uh, okay. Stormblood is definitely long.
Okay. Speak it for with Alphano. Alphano. Somewhere in here. Oh, he's on the upper level. Uh, so we'll go over here. Speak with the domains and the rising stone. Sounds good. to Limsa and to the docks. We are this way, right? Yep. making good progress right now sorry I'm, I'm thinking about other stuff so I'm a little like I'm here but I'm not here <laughs> so I'm thinking of uh, some gaming stuff
Twelve be praised. Full sure was I that I had come too late. Rionge! Tell me you haven't come all this way just to see us off. Nay, my lady. Ere you quit these shores for eastern climes, I wished to share some words of seeming import. Look ye where the sun doth rise. See crimson embers, darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall. See azure lost amidst the squall. Well, that sounds suitably foreboding. Another one of your prophecies, I presume? Of far eastern origin, I. It is mine earnest hope that this ancient wisdom may serve to guide you on your journey. For what dangers lie in wait for you upon those distant shores are yet beyond my knowing. Oh, a parting gift befitting your roundabout ways. Thank you. I have more than words for you, my lady. It's beautiful. Is it for me? Though undeniably powerful, your ethereal blade taxeth you greatly in the wielding. Not so this rapier, which shall serve you just as well against all but the most formidable foe. Impressive. It feels as though it's attuned to my ether. I shall treasure it. Honored guests, say your farewells, for the moment of our parting draws nigh. A fair wind blows, and I mean to follow it. It would seem our ship is set to sail. Pray give my regards to Thancred and the others, and take care. A fine day, is it not? Fair winds and following seas. The misery is enjoying herself. Nevertheless, it would not do for you to spend the entirety of our voyage above deck. Let me show you to your quarters. We have our own quarters. Okay. I'll take that. Not under normal circumstances. Captain! You need it on deck! Something queer's afoot. The winds died down, the waters went still, and all of a sudden, 
We were dragged off course. Dragged? By what? Can't rightly say, sir. But some of the lads are muttering about seeing things in the water. Things that shouldn't be there. Oh, for the love of... If you will excuse me a moment. Actually, might I persuade you to join me? Loath though I am to admit it, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh boy. Speak with the Krakens. Nice, a new duty finder. All right, where are we? So like, can we even leave this area? Okay, yeah, technically you can. So if we go here, then here, how do you see that? Wait, do you actually, oh, you have to go to this thing and then I'll take you out here, I guess. Interesting, interesting. Okay. We just test a few things while we uh feel right now. So now we're just waiting. Siren song C. Oh boy. So the ship literally crashes. Interesting.
Uh, do I run? Oh. Usually, I have to, it's either run together or run away. So once I saw them running towards me, I run, ran to them. down.
Okay, sounds good. I still haven't eaten anything. Should I eat something before you come? Or... it is uh, I think she's downstairs on the couch right now <laughs> I think she's just passed out on the couch yeah she's cozy though be passed out of sleep.
<laughs> Does the force retreat or march? you run backwards. Okay, bye. I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna get ready soon. Well, get off here soon anyways, so. I guess. Range DPS for the win. Hey, what's going on, King? True. True. What, uh, what class do you play? That's the I, if it is. That's I want to try that next next range DPS that I do. But I also love Summoner, and I love the changes that they made. I've always been a range range DPS type person. Now what's going to happen after all that? What's going to happen here? Clear skies. Thank the 12. Everything here would appear to be in order. Good. Repairs should be completed by the time we return to the misery. Whereupon we shall resume our journey without further delay. Whoops. I swear, if I never hear another ghost story, it will be too soon.
Still traveling. All right. I remember the sea, the smell of the soot, and the crash of the waves as we drew closer to Kugane. Whoa. Holy yo, this place looks sick. The only port open to outsiders in Higashi, across the Ruby Sea from Otha, from Doma. Oh my god. All the colors of the rainbow, all the peoples of the world, all in one place. I wish you could have seen it. This looks awesome. Okay, chat. Um, I have some stuff that I need to do today. So I'm going to actually chill right here. Um, I may be back. It depends on what time our activities are done. I need to do some stuff. Um, so if, if everything's done by like 7 or 8 p.m then i'll hop back on if not then i'll be on tomorrow probably in the morning and most of the day but for now i need to chill so uh i'm gonna get a few things done so thank you guys for hanging out as always um all my other let's plays and things like that is on youtube um and yeah also on twitch and facebook as well for now though i'm gonna chill have a good one See you guys next time. Peace out. Stay safe. And yeah, have a happy new year as well. I know it's still only the second day, but you never know. So be safe. See you guys. Peace.